You guys are loving and taking care of yourselves this morning i low-key have a lot going on because i have a cute little breakfast date with one of my friends that i am actually low-key a little bit late for so i'm about to request and go and then yesterday i went shopping and i unboxed but i didn't unbox so there's like a lot going on in this house there's boxes there's bags a lot of things on the bed so um Obviously, that means when I come back from my breakfast date, we're doing an unboxing. However, I just want to show you guys um, my scent of the day. It is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. And I'm super excited because today, my campaign with them is actually going live. And it's something I never prayed about. But then, God stays answering even just your desires. Like the things that you don't even pray about, but you just desire. He answers them. Because I always wanted to work with the fragrance brand. And um, I guess I did work with Woolworth. But then I was working with like, you know, it was their foundation and also their in-house fragrances, not like a big girl fragrance, if that makes sense. Like with Woolworths, it was an EDT, this is an EDP, this is like, it's Victor and Rolf, like get into it. So <laughs> that's going to be my scent of the day. It's nice and florally and like very much giving summer. So I absolutely love that. And to... <coughs> Why do I spray while I'm talking? But to get into my outfits, I am wearing these shorts and this top, which I actually got from Mr. Price yesterday, part of my unboxing haul. Might as well just start now because this is some of the stuff which I got yesterday. I just wanted cute lounge wear that I could wear at home or like today, a cute and serious breakfast date. And um, Mr. Price really came through. I think it was like... Like, I got so many things and I paid less than 500 Rand, so shout out to Mr. Price. But without rambling anymore, let's go have breakfast. not perfection because yikes this background is so messy but anyways breakfast was amazing just got back and oh this environment is just driving me crazy but i'm gonna have to leave the house soon in about an hour so i'm not sure if i'll be able to like just make everything look normal however i went to at home to make a cute little purchase which you guys are probably only going to see in the next vlog and i completely forgot to get a planter because this has a cute sleeve but i think the sleeve is just for like temporary it's just for selling the plants but they're not like a uh, permanent whatever i think i'll have to put this in one of those planters and i forgot to get a planter plus anyways red just doesn't go you guys can see the aesthetic is gray beige white that's why she got me these flowers she's like yeah i feel like these flowers are gonna fit the aesthetic of which they do it's just that the sleeve has to go so i'm so bummed that i forgot to get a planter but anyways i also got a hot comb from clicks i'm so glad that there's a 12 month guarantee because the box looks like makes it look like it's been through the most and i'm literally telling the guy i'm like if this thing is not working i get home and it's not working i'm bringing it back because 
a no way and I didn't have time to start um, opening and checking if it's working checking all of that good stuff so I was just like just give it to me because I'm in a hurry because tomorrow I'm actually wearing the straight wig but then the problem with straight wigs is I feel like the install only lasts one day because if you don't have a straightener or hot comb to like make it sleek again then just forget so that's why I got me a hot comb and it's something I always wanted so it's not an impulse buy I'm actually so proud of myself financially because I feel like last year <laughs> There was no way I'll just go to clicks and come out with like one thing. Like that was definitely that was definitely not happening. So I'm so proud of myself. And we came, we saw, we conquered. Guys, I finally have a microwave and she's so pretty. The only thing that's grating me is the sticker. Um it was advertised without a sticker. It comes with a sticker on, and I hate stickers on appliances. I don't even understand people who leave the stickers on TVs. You know, by the side, I just it just makes it look so tacky. Like right now, it's such a gorgeous microwave, but the stickers just throwing me off. And she's so big. Let me tell you something. You guys dragged, dragged, dragged that other microwave for Phil. I was actually so scared. I'm like, the coffee beans are capable of this. I need to stay in line because if you guys drag me, I'm mostly gonna cry. Like the way you guys drag that microwave, someone is like, it's giving grace, it's so tiny, so ugly. As soon as she took it out, I saw that, I was like, whoo, coffee beans go again. But you know what? I get it. I'm so glad I returned it as soon as. But then what I hate is that today is, it's been like two weeks and still no refund. And that time they're like, oh, the refund is gonna take three to five days still no refund i'm actually very annoyed like they just seem so because i went to return it in person and they just seem so disorganized even their macro they just like the guy is sitting outside on the pavement with his laptop and i'm like can't you guys at least have like a gazebo and especially because it's an established brand it's not like it's an up-and-coming brand i was just like yeah it's very disorganized i was busy praising them giving them their flowers but you I've seen it all, so still chasing my refund, but then we have a microwave and she's so gorgeous. I'm just so mad because this morning I was online, you know how when you buy something or you've been searching about it, um, the ad algorithm now shows you ads of that thing. And I'm seeing this exact microwave for like 700 rand less at so many other places and I was just like, <sighs> frustrated. So no more blind buying because I feel like I'm now was just at a point where I'm like I just want a microwave and I just walked into game and I was like let me get my microwave and for the specific specs because I know there's someone who's going to be like oh what microwave is it? It's the Samsung mirror finish item item um, 32 liters I don't know what else I'm gonna. This this is not a self care product, so I don't know how what else I'm supposed to tell you guys. But then that's about it. Samsung 32 liters and mirror finish. That's that's the microwave I got. And then I also got this dust pen and brush. I already have one. It's so aesthetically pleasing. Shout out checkers. I already have one, but I needed another one specifically for the carpet because my carpet just needs a soft brush, nothing else. So this is perfect. And then I got another pot because um, I really love these, these pots so much. And I had a really big one. And it just wasn't working out because it's just me so the big one was just too big and i find this more comfortable to cook with and then i got my aunt a gift from zara got myself some gloves because in my sunday reset video everybody was like oh the colors are the same even though i know which gloves are for what but i'm like let me give my coffee beans peace of mind and get different colored gloves so the blue gloves are for the bathroom the yellow gloves are for the kitchen and um yeah let me just clean up okay okay <laughs> i'm like what is funny let me just clean up and um go for my driving lesson guys today is the first lesson with the truck first lesson with the truck it's such a small i'm just a girl I am just a girl. But then Tati gave me such a beautiful affirmation. She was like, I can do hard things. And I was like, you know what? Period. So watch me eat the truck up. Period. <laughs> See you guys at my driving lesson. <laughs> Thank you.
take this moment to say everybody who was like coat in is easier the truck is easier thank you so much because turns out y'all never lied like the truck is definitely way easier like changing from the small car to a truck at first i was so scared i'm like i'm just a girl and my instructor dished me at the last minute like he didn't tell me that when i switched the truck he has someone else who's going to be taking over but then they were also perfectly patient with me as well so today was actually like i think since i started today was actually my favorite lesson because it's just nice to get everything right and i feel like i was doing well i was speeding though and he was complaining that's why in the clip you hear him go slow down slow down but if my first car is a truck face your front anyways now i want to cook i want to cook <laughs> i'm making a face because my instructor was eating kfc <laughs> while we were driving you know how kfc just smells so good i wasn't even hungry but then like after smelling the food i got hungry so um, i told myself clarissa there's food at home because i started cooking beef I want to make a stew so I'm gonna finish off my beef stew and then sit down and edit the videos that were supposed to go up this week Angels, good morning, good morning. I greet you all in the name of the bus down community. Everybody scream because I am literally eating the straight hair up. I completely forgot how good I actually look in straight hair. I'm so glad I gave Miss Curly Hair a break. However, this morning um it's half eight and at ten o'clock we are going to a kills event that we've been invited to, and I'm super excited. It's a big deal for me because I really love the brand. Like I think my prayer now is just for me to be in the rooms, my name to be in the rooms of brands I actually love, you know, and not just brands, but then brands I actually love. And I really love Kiehl's. I love that it's a luxury brand. I consider it luxury girl. If I'm paying four figures for a product, then it's definitely luxury. And it also pays um, great attention to skincare science. So shout out kills and thank you so much for inviting me so while i get ready for my kills event um i know i feel like i'm really running late because i know my makeup is going to take time because i don't have lashes so i'm just going to quickly get into that i don't know what i'm going to wear because um we don't we don't have a dress code it is brunch however i'm looking at the venue and it looks like a very casual breakfast spot so i don't want to 
rock up with the tra la 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 <laughs> when it's actually a very chill place. But then, as I always say, the rule of thumb is rather be overdressed than underdressed. So we're gonna see. I feel like if I have a bust down and a face beat, then what I wear will just, you know, it'll just align with everything that's going on here. So, so far we're off to good starts. So let me quickly beat my face and get ready. Makeup is done so I'm just gonna put some glue because there's these white patches and they're stressing me out and I still don't know what I'm wearing <sighs> I don't know what I'm wearing I don't know what I'm wearing and I'm trying not not to stress too much because I think I do have clothes like I do have options but I just don't know what the vibe is I so wish we had received a dress code because Today, I'm really just dressing blindly, like I generally, I, I don't know. At this rate, I'm 15 minutes late, girl, but I had to show you my outfit. Like, I'm so content with how this turned out. I got this dress from Fashini, like, some a while ago, but I see that every summer they restock them, so you might find them still there. And I love the whole backless situation, and it's just such a cute dress, so I dressed it up. With these loud gold hoops i'm wearing heels and i'm gonna carry like a cute little bag like it's giving high tea which i love i feel like i'm content regardless of what the vibe is when i get there i'm content with my outfit choice and today's makeup is also really eating you know when you get ready but then you can see that this getting ready is not like the other getting ready it's like you really worked your makeup rash that's how i'm feeling today like i'm so content with how i look with my hair, with my face beat, with my outfit. But without rambling anymore, let's go besties. Hey Coffee Bean, so I just arrived at the event and um, I'm outside at the entrance because I'm like no copyright claim formed against me will prosper so I'll wait until um, DJ's done doing whatever he has to do and then that's when I'm gonna be vlogging inside like talking and stuff but then just came to say it's so pretty and I had no idea it was gonna be as intimate as it actually was like there's just literally 30 of us I thought it was gonna be like a big event but then Loki I absolutely love the intimate stuff because it's giving exclusive it's giving VIP it's giving I'm important so I absolutely love that and yeah let's go enjoy the event Now, 
Say hi, Kingoma. Hey, Finally, on. Please don't say smash your pants. Hi, hey, Bestie. So we just got done. Why do I look like okay? I just like this better. So I hope you guys can hear me. But we just got done with the master class. So we're about to do a cute painting session. So you guys should be put on my apron. And I think we're painting the boxes and we've got supplies and everything like that. And the cutest thing, you guys know I love personalized. Everything has to be personalized. So it has my name on it. How cute. But anyways, let's get to painting this piece. back from my driving lesson and um it was good it was good i feel like now i'm just i'm just ready to test like i just want to test and get my license and get it done but um i was wearing a duck because i was driving where i drive with the truck is very scary actually so um i was like let me not attract any attention with this 28 inch buzz down so i tied my hair i wore a duck i put on my glasses i was like nope not today i have to have to put the baddie on pause have to put the baddie on pause. However, Doomy is on his way to pick me up. We're going to play tennis. I'm really in my tennis bag now. I'm super excited um, because I feel like I just need it. Like I haven't gone since my last session, which was like two weeks ago. And a session, I'm just, why do I talk in therapy terms now? It's so, it's giving healed babe. But anyways, um, I haven't gone since my last session, so I'm looking forward to it. I hope I'm not back to square one because you know with these things, it's about consistency. Like if you're not consistent with the practice and everything, then it's chai. Sorry, I keep looking at the rear view because I'm like, yo, my mom. Shout out Phyllis. He made such a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful daughter. My mom's did the things. Wow, gorgeous. Anyways, um, for tennis, I'm just wearing a tank top. I'm wearing sweatpants. I actually wanted to buy those cute tennis dresses. You guys should let me know where I can get them. I went into Mr. Price Sport and I couldn't find anything. And like cotton on online, it was like 600 rand. I'm not trying to spend that much when I'm not even that good at the sport. So, um, also thinking of Shein because I saw Dine with Neo. Neo. <laughs> I call people by their handle. So I saw Dine with Nawo at the at the tennis event. I don't know what brand that was, but it was like a tennis event. And she said that she got her skirt or dress from Shein. And I'm like, that sounds like an option. At this point, that sounds like an option. But anyways, let's go to tennis. And I Sixteen years ago. So yeah, I was busy, but I you If you see me more than I wish my niggas ballin' like I'm rich, bro Spend up in that thotty, I'm a rich, bro All your bitches do a lot, these one of us, dog So it's just can't pop a squat, then that's a rip, bro But CDZ, all niggas rip, dog, bro You know, nigga, been a dick, that he the only one And nigga, met the shit, and with some joy It's giving Serena Williams because we won. <laughs> we won. She's not in the fucking face. Can you guys see me? I hope you guys can see me. Because I'm so tired to like even check. I can't even see. Okay, it looks bright. Anyways, I didn't show you guys that I changed. Like last minute, as soon as Dumi said he's at the gate, I took off the sweatpants and put these cute white shorts because I think this is closer to tennis than the sweatpants but anyways I'm about to warm some leftovers and it feels so good to finally have a microwave before I had to warm stuff on the stove and you guys know warming things like rice pop on the stove is just a nightmare so mm, and that's a microwave period so I want to 
my vlogs actually just went live right now and I just saw a very funny comment someone was like um, she said it's so funny being an adult because you're literally by yourself a sock and then you're jumping up and down because you're super excited like oh my goodness I bought a sock that's me with this microwave like I've literally spent a month and a half without a microwave guys so Anyways, I wanted to show you guys the stuff I got from Kiehl's and another PR package. So, but I'm so hungry. So I'm going to eat first and then we'll do a PR unboxing and then we'll sleep. I'm honestly forgetting today is, it's even the 17th and the reunion came out yesterday. That's how you see how busy I am. Like, whenever I'm not busy, as soon as the show comes out, I'm already done with it. So, are you guys actually watching um, Selling Sunset? S I can't believe it's season 7 even. It feels like I was just watching season 1 yesterday. But I'm about to watch the reunion. Um, to keep it short and sweet, I love Chelsea and I also love Brie. So their beef annoys me so much because I just wish they could be besties. Am I judgmental towards Brie's situation? <laughs> I am, but I feel like someone once said it on the show to say... These are there are certain things that you think but you wouldn't say to someone. So I feel like I'd look and look at Brie and be like, now what are you doing? But then like I'd never tell her that. <laughs> Girl, what are you doing? Because ultimately at the end of the day, if it's working for her, it's working for her. I think if I was her friend though, I'd discourage her because I feel like she's putting on a front that she's okay with with the with her family setup her family situation because if she was okay with her family situation then why was she so pissed that nick cannon had another baby plus i mean that was baby number nine ten so him having baby number 11 the fact that she was pissed at that kind of had me thinking did she expect them to have a white picket fence ending like i didn't get why she was mad if she wasn't mad about him having another baby after her then like I would fully support her but then I don't support anyone's actions when I know that they're just pretending to be happy and they really aren't I think she's pretending to be happy in this situation but she's a baddie even though she's not selling any houses she's a baddie and I love her and I wish she'd be friends with Chelsea who don't I like I don't like the old Gogo you guys know who the go which Gogo I'm talking about I don't like her I just I don't even know what she's doing on the show I don't like her at all but anyways let's get into this reunion i hope everybody showed up i hope everybody showed up i thought yo one hour 20 minutes looks like we're gonna be sitting here for a while I chelsea you guys how can you not love chelsea it was just a, was just a nasty <laughs> Hey besties, it's Holo Clock slash PR unboxing o'clock. We're actually gonna start with PR and starting with this gift bag from the Kiehl's event, guys. Kiehl's is luxury skincare. I need you guys to understand that. So in this box is about what 3k, 4k worth of skincare that I just got for free because I'm coffee no milk. And this is what my painting came out like. Actually, so cute from afar. Like, excuse me, excuse me, it's giving multifaceted. That is so funny because like in one of my campaigns, I had to show how much of a multifaceted girl I am and might as well just add painter to it. But in the kills, where the products go? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I had taken them out of the box i forgot but then um first is this ultra flip facial cleanser i have seen this on tiktok so i'm super excited to try her out um and this ultra facial cream i have seen sneaky wear post this and i've been like oh let's get into it and i love how all these products are actually fragrance free so for all my sensitive skincare girlies we're covered and then i also got this pore refining toner of which i had cut out toner from my skincare routine but then kill said bring her back can you guys see this yeah so it's this pore refining toner and it's actually clay based so shout out kills because now i have a toner in my skincare routine again and we also have one more thing can i get a serum oh yes i got this 
niacinamide serum so it's actually five percent which i'm excited to try because people had told me that 10 percent is a little bit too high if you're starting out because i have the 10 percent the ordinary niacinamide so i was like okay let's try this five percent and see how that goes and then next pr package is from clear start and I'm super excited because Claire Start is Dermalogica and I remember the first time receiving my Dermalogica PR package I'm like Dermalogica wants me because Dermalogica is another skincare brand I view as luxury so I was like period but then they actually got me a very cool product that's one of their new releases which is the clarifying body spray so all the girlies who've been telling me oh i have body acne and this and that clear start said i got your back girl can she can she can she can she i hope you guys can see her but then it's a clarifying body spray love her because she's pink period and in here i also got this cute tote bag and a bracelet a personalized bracelet with my name on it so that is so cute so like clear start one thing about clear start they'll have like cute little items in the PR package so I can't wait to try this body spray and I'll come back to you guys with a review I think it's about 500 Rand for the spray but it's actually quite heavy and it's big and if you're using it only on like your chest and your back like the parts that are affected with acne I feel like this can even last you the whole year depending on its shelf life um, best before 2025 so yeah no this can definitely last you the whole year and then victor and rolf as i already told you guys guys i still can't believe this is happening me working with the whole victor and rolf this actually i don't know if you guys can tell but there's a theme of luxury brands here like it's just luxury brands and i'm like that's so crazy because when i was in high school i was literally saving up my lunch money to like buy a little garnier um pure soaps and stuff like that now i have entire luxury brands sending me pr and that is on coffee no milk period and all her coffee beans because like i said without you guys this stuff wouldn't be possible like it's just so cool for a brand to be like hey Here's free stuff. We love you. Try it out. But anyways, this is the Victor and Rolf flower balm from the campaign that I am on. Thank you, Jesus. That we are in luxury campaigns now. And then there's something else. Oh, still in the vibe of luxury. <laughs> like, girl, 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 girl. I'm still like, what? Guys. That's crazy because I think my first luxury makeup brand foundation was actually from MAC. So it's like such a full circle moment for me to be um, sponsored by MAC on a campaign. But they actually gave me their new Studio Radiance Foundation. You guys may have seen me at the event of the launch. So at the launch we did like our... What do you call this thing? Our shade matching and stuff like that. And then um, the PR packages were sent to us. And there's this cute little note. Hey Clarissa, we got you your foundation in your shade and all that good stuff. And this is the foundation. Love her so much because it's literally like a skin-like finish. And this summer, you see how hot it is outside? I'm really trying to be in my no makeup makeup era. And I feel like... This foundation is going to be so perfect for that. So shout out Mac. Shout out Mac. Shout out Mac. Shout out Mac. And when you guys see these campaigns go live, guys, please go crazy. Please go crazy. We're keeping the lights on, ne? So please go crazy. Please and thank you. And um, from this cam, nothing luxury, but I got myself some Got To Be spray. I always had the small one. Lost it for so long. They didn't have the small one. So I had to get this big as can. And I got me some optic white shadow k arms and i also got some eyelash glue because i was running out of eyelash glue and i think i'm actually gonna take a break from installs and i mean contrary to the spray i'm gonna take a break from installs and individual lashes that's why i got the eyelash glue i want to be putting strip lashes on just so that i can take care of my actual lashes my actual hair even more because like with an install i can keep an install in for like five to six days and now all those days your hair is just under there it's not getting washed it's not getting airflow and i'm like you know let me take it easy on the installs so 
for my wigs. I know, contrary to the fact that I bought stuff for wigs, but yeah, I want to take a break from installs. So for the events or special occasions, I feel like that's when I'm going to get an install done. But not just casual, casual, just a regular day, no. So I got this straightener and I got this hot comb both from Clix. And they weren't expensive. I think together this was less than 500 Rand or 500 Rand on the dot. So shout out Clix! Shout out Clix! But whew, with that being said, that is my PR unboxing. I will forever be grateful to God for seeing planting the content creation dream in my heart and let it flourish in the way that is flourishing like i feel like this is one industry where regardless of where you are 1k subscribers 50k 100k like don't ever compare yourself to anyone and always keep yourself humble and always keep yourself grateful like even as you start receiving pr packages from like your dream brands don't start acting brand new like always remain humble always remain grateful and um yeah don't forget to give thanks period so thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one it's such a busy season but i'm trying to be as consistent as i can and um, i love you guys so much for always supporting me and i'll see you in the next one